Welcome back to the Chasing Happiness Podcast, an honest podcast about finding happiness, what it really means, and the process of getting there. My name is Crystal, and today is going to be a little bit different on the podcast. For starters, I'm actually recording while I'm out on a 5K walk, so I do apologize if the sound quality is different than previous recordings, but I wanted to chat really quickly about expectations about how we approach challenges in life, and about why it all matters. So for those of you that don't follow on social media, I have been presented with an opportunity to relocate over the summer. The house that I rent, the landlords have decided to sell, and the maximum closing that I'll end up getting is 90 days. It may be much quicker than that, which I hadn't planned on moving over the summer. And I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do it or where I'm going to go or what exactly is happening. But my expectation was to stay in this particular property for about a year before I relocated. And when the landlords approached me and told me they were going to sell, I immediately had a moment, as we typically do, of panic of what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? You know, what does it all mean, so to speak? And I realized in that moment that how I chose to approach this, how I chose to look at this, was going to sort of determine what the outcome was. So I have decided to take this as an adventure and a sign from the universe that it's time to move on. And I am embracing the change to the best of my ability as much as I possibly can. So for me, what that means is looking at my perspective, how I'm approaching things, understanding that there may be a bigger plan at play here that may turn out for the better, even though I don't know or understand what that is. And I think this is something that can be relevant to all of us in life because we face challenges regularly, unexpected challenges that we don't always know how to handle or deal with and how we approach them how we choose to process that, those things determine what the outcome ultimately is. This could be a horrible experience if I continue to look at it like, what am I going to do? How am I going to manage this? Where am I going to go? And the experience of having to go through this, excuse me, for the next couple of months could be more than just challenging. It could be insanely frustrating and infuriating. But it's my perception, it's my attitude and how I show up in these daily challenges that determines whether or not I enjoy the experience, whether or not the experience has a positive outcome. And so I thought it was worth mentioning that today because as with any challenge that we face in life, we have a choice. We have a choice in how we show up. We have a choice in the attitude that we bring to the situation. And granted, all of the challenges that we face in life are not necessarily always going to be easy, fun, or enjoyable. But that doesn't mean that we can't do our best to get the most out of those, to enjoy what we can in those experiences, to look for the positive that's inside the challenge. And I think that's truthful of every aspect of our lives. So I guess really today, I just want wanted to remind you that even in the struggles, even in the challenges, the unforeseen challenges that appear in our daily lives, we have a choice. We have a choice in the attitude that we bring to it. We have a choice in how we show up. We have a choice in what we choose to dwell on and what our outlook ends up being. So remind yourself of that. And remind yourself that you're human and it's okay to not be insanely ecstatic when challenges like this arise, but we can figure it out. Whatever the challenge is, whatever it is that we have to deal with, we can manage. We are smart and capable as human beings. So remind yourself of that the next time you face an unexpected challenge that causes you stress and concern. Remind yourself of just how brilliant you are. And it's getting a little windy now, so I apologize if you guys can only hear the wind. But remind yourself of how capable you are and take a deep breath and know that whatever is happening, the universe has a plan and you may not know or understand where it's leading you, but whatever is happening to you, it's happening for the best possible reason, even if you don't understand it at the time. And so that's how I'm approaching the next few months as I figure out where I'm moving and what I'm doing and how to pack up a house again. (laughs) So I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you have a wonderful week, actually, because it's supposed to be gorgeous summer weather this week. 
for most of North America. I have a fantastic interview coming at you guys next week. I cannot wait to share it with you. And I am sending you love and light. And I will chat with you guys next week. Remember, you're absolutely capable of whatever challenges you face. Love and light. 